Hey guys, Bianca Dime. You're really close up to my face right now because I'm recording on my iPad. And you don't judge me. Anyways, I'm at my roller coaster right now. This is update three. Kind of a how to. My last how to roller coaster thing was uh, carts. I explained that. This time I'm going to explain how to do the track for the most part. I'm going to try. That's my grandpa over there. He built the roller coaster. So, um, this is a track. It's a. That fell. This is a track. It's a diameter. That's my grand. And this track, the main one right over here, diameter of 1.5 inches, if, if it's yeah, right there, that, that's uh, upside down. And right over here, how to make the connection between the tracks, um, you uh, get a 1.25 inch diameter, and then you just cut it with uh, one of these electrical uh, saws. You cut it uh, in the middle, and then um, when you try to push it in, you just squeeze it, uh, try to show it, you just squeeze it really hard, and then um, makes the diameter less, therefore it goes into here, the magic connection happens, and my grandpa's trying to control it right now, you see, you just push it down, and the uh, diameter will work, but um, if you do not uh, do the drill, then it just won't work, and uh, the way you make the ties between the, between the uh, roller coaster is, um, you get once again the electric saw. You get um, these um, one by two by two by two, two by ones. One by twos. Yeah, one by twos. No. Yeah, one by one by fours. By foot. One by four by twelve. You get these. Um, then you. Uh, well, actually, you just get. Sorry. You get. You see that? That's eight feet. You get one of those from Home Depot, then you cut it up into one foot pieces. Though that is a one by four, uh, you cut it up into um, these one foot pieces, and then um, you just connect it every foot. At least that's what I did. You, that's up to you how you connect it. You can do it every foot, you can do it every two feet, but if you want to be safe, I prefer every foot and every other foot to do the always. And um, um, the way you connect them too. Uh, right over here we have a connection, like, anyways, like, uh, right over here we have a connection like we did over there, uh, and this connection, the way you actually connect it, you put it in the middle, like I said, you get one of these ties, and then you, um, put a, um, screw into here, screw into here, and on the other side too, and yeah, that works like a charm, you can do the rest like that, for normal connections, you just put it every foot, like I said, Put it there, put two uh, screws, and on the other side too. And yeah, if you want it to be more stable, you just make more connections down here in between the two ties. So yeah, this is a very technical video, I just realized. So yeah, that's how you make the track. And this track is going to be 10 feet high. This is nowhere close to actual height, maybe a little bit. Maybe this is kind of that one right there. So yeah, anyways. Thank you guys for watching this technical video. Like if you want more of these technical videos on how to build a roller coaster. And comment if there's any questions from you guys. And comment if there's any requests on how to add add to the roller coaster. Uh, this one guy suggested Matthew that I put like on the aircraft carriers. I put one of those rubber band things near the end here because that is perfect height right there. Five feet. Because my roller coaster, it's right now uh, at that height. It ends right about here, which is um, three feet. And so I just realized that that's six feet. So this is this ratio is by half. And that ratio is going to be ten feet. So it should go all the way up to five. But, um, yeah, it's literally just exactly five feet. So it might slightly crash in there. But, you know, I don't know yet. Um, so that's my calculations at least. Anyways, this is like like I said, thank you guys for watching. Like for technical suggest for quest on the roller coaster to add and bye guys.